Hey guys, I know I haven't shown the tank in a while, so I'm just gonna do a little quick improv video. No editing, no nothing, blah, blah, blah. 125 gallon salt water tank, not many coral in it. I don't, I mean, I love coral, but I don't wanna quarantine them because you can't quarantine them in copper. Quarantine means you put it in a separate tank to make sure there's no parasites on it. I'm just gonna show you this awesome tank and what's going on in it. Got the sailfin tang hiding out back there. Really pretty. Usually he's a lighter color. That's the sailfin tang. Zebra guy. There's a uh, Nassau tang. Right there. He's waiting for his seaweed. This guy's awesome. He was an impulse buy. I'm glad I got him. Get some more light on that guy. Beautiful fish. Lots of personality. My first big fish is the Fowlery tang. Very pricey. I got him at a really good rate. A really good rate. When I was looking for a fish, I wanted to get the coal tang. This guy right here is beautiful. Yellow coal, yellow eye coal tang. Kind of reminds me of a purple tang, which I will have someday. But that's a yellow eye coal tang. These guys are awesome for picking algae off the glass of the rock. He really goes to town. So I was looking for one of those guys. <clears throat> And I found a Fowlery tang, and the guy at the local reef store said, why don't you get this guy? He'll be a great main display fish. I'm like, I don't really want a big fish because I only have a 75 gallon. This guy right here is the reason why I purchased the 125 gallon because it is six feet wide or six feet long. So it gives that dude a lot of swimming space. Although an eight foot long tank would be better, which would be a 240 gallon, which I don't know if I'm gonna get for quite some time. Um, yellow Tang, of course, he's also very good at getting algae off the rocks and the glass. Who else do we have? Who else do we have? Man, I had a sand sifting starfish right here. He was right there. And I'm babbling, and then I missed him. He's cool. He's a newer addition. Anyway, we've got a huge frog spawn. I love those guys. Got a hammer coral. Another frog spawn. We got star polyps, my first that I ever got. Here's the first frag, by the way, of the star polyp. And I moved it to this rock. It grew on this rock. It spread. And um, I've moved it over here so it can grow onto that rock. Um, I have a sand sifting goby. He lives in that cave. If you look, he'll peek his head out once in a while. Um, a Duncan, Duncan coral, another little Duncan coral that's kind of closed. It fell over, so I gotta take care of that. I usually just wedge the uh, coral between rock. And that's about it. These guys are waiting to be fed. You can see how I feed them. I've got bok choy or collard greens rubber banded daily onto a PVC pipe. I have to buy some, so I'll be hand feeding them some nori right now. They go nuts for it. And also Rod's food and frozen brine. Oh yeah, how could I forget? The clowns, these guys are about two inches long. And this guy, the female, she's about three inches long. They hover up in the corner. They pretty much host the corner. They never really come out of there. So that's it. I'll see you guys Friday night for a live show at 10 p.m. Central where I take questions, I take phone calls live, and I chat with you guys instant message. Check out Rod or Two Brief Live, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you all for subscribing, and uh, comments, questions, place them below. And of course, every Saturday, a new show on Rod or Two Brief. Every Sunday, Reef Talk on my channel, Rod or Two Brief, with Scott from Mile High Reefers. If you want to be on Reef Talk, just drop me a line, rottertube at gmail.com, and we'll interview you. Think of a topic and we'll talk about it for a Sunday Reef Talk show. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you later. Happy reefing. Oh, the fox face. How could I forget that dude? We, My uh, son named him Spike. Because he has venomous spikes. Oh, the Fowlery just took a crap. That was really nice of you. Thank you very much. Spike is incredibly laid back. He got quite large. 
he is about, wow, he's like six inches, seven inches. It's hard to tell from this video, he's easily seven inches long. When I got him, he was maybe three, and he grew rapidly, so he's large. I had a magnificent fox face, it died, it was sick when I got it. So I got Spike to replace him, I've had Spike for, I don't know, I don't even know, six months to nine months. He's much larger than this video shows. It's probably eight inches, actually. <laughs> He's really getting big. All right, these guys want to eat. So I will talk to you guys later, and I'll see you next time.